What's up everybody? Motor Merc here coming to you live from sunny Southern California. I am spending the day testing out my new camera mounting position, which I hope will be superior to the previous camera mounting position. I previously had my camera mounted to the side of my helmet, which was a decision I had intentionally made because I liked having the camera at eye level and I liked having the helmet in the shot. I actually thought that was cool uh, when I first got the camera because I thought it was nice to be able to sort of have some sort of solid reference, some sort of unmoving reference in the shot to give you some sort of perspective, I guess. I, I felt that gave you more of a connection to me as, as the actual rider of the bike. But uh, over time, I've watched some other people's videos, gotten different ideas, and more importantly, there have been some situations where I've wanted to capture something that was happening to the right of me, like on my right side, and because the helmet was there filling up a good, I don't know, 20% of the screen, I'd miss all the action that was going on, you know, on the side. So I decided to try out a different mounting position, and as SpacePod uh, commonly points out, a shortcoming of the drift is that the, the bullet cam type of design doesn't allow the camera to be mounted on your chin so you can't have like a perfect or you know a, a very a super close to perfect rider's eye view perspective uh, the next best thing you can do with the drift is mount it on top of the helmet which is what I'm trying now obviously and uh, it's actually I think it's probably going to be comparable to a chin mount uh, it's a little bit higher than my eyes, probably six inches higher than my eyes as opposed to being maybe four inches lower than my eyes, but I think it's it's a good compromise. It's the best you're going to do with a drift, certainly. And I think it's going to be good not to have uh, the helmet blocking part of the field of view because, uh, yeah, I lost the, I didn't lose the footage, but a lot of the footage that I had of stuff going on alongside me ended up being useless in the end. So we'll see how it goes with this one. Well, the camera is definitely pointed too low, which is the opposite of what I expected to have happen. Uh, I thought it would be pointed too high, if anything, but uh, it seems to be pointing mostly at the bike and the pavement, and not really much at any of the rest of the world. So I'm going to have to adjust it, which is going to be a pain in the ass because I, you know, it was a pain in the first place getting the original mounting adhesive off because it's this crazy 3M adhesive mounting tape that's meant to be permanent so I, I I'm actually worried I may have damaged the 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 shell of the helmet getting the original mounting off because it's uh I got it off by applying heat to it I, I got a heat gun on it kind of softened up the adhesive and that allowed me to get it off and of course I used more of the same type of 3M super extreme duty permanent adhesive tape to get it uh, to get the mount stuck back on the helmet in the new location so I'm gonna have to go through that whole process all over again yeah, which I'm not looking forward to and it's just gonna weaken another area of the helmet shell but I've been sort of thinking of getting a new helmet pretty soon anyway so I guess it's not that big of a deal so this is attempt number two at the top mounted helmet cam position. Uh, the previous position obviously was too low. The top of the frame was right about where the horizon was, so you kind of lose out on anything that's above level with, uh, with the camera. So I wanted to scoot it back on the helmet a little bit so it would be angled up a little more and give everybody a little better view of where I'm actually going as opposed to just a view of where I am, like straight down at the pavement, which is what we were kind of stuck with before street do I want? I don't really know this neighborhood. So anyway, I scooted it back a little bit and uh, yeah, hopefully it's better now. Hopefully you get a little better view of everything. So yeah, obviously the previous uh, angle that I had the camera mounted at, it was kind of pointed straight down into the pavement and the bike. And I do want you to be able to see the bike in the shot, if possible, because I think part of the magic of motovlogging is being able to see the rider's hands and gestures, being able to see how they manipulate the controls and stuff. So I think that's interesting, and it's something I want to keep in the, in the shot. 
but uh, you know, I also want you to be able to see where I'm going, what's in front of me. So I needed to pull the angle up a little bit. So hopefully this angle will be a little better. Be able to capture a little bit more of the world around me. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I guess we'll make this a motor Merc quickie. And I will catch you guys in the next Cali Coast series. Peace.